Apollo 11 lands. July 16, 1969, humankind first sets foot on the moon. The magnitude of this historic event sends ripples throughout the entire world and lights up the imagination in everyone like a bolt of energy, especially in the scientific community. The possibility of encountering life on other planets suddenly seems closer than ever. In the wake of the space race, the biggest brains from all corners of Earth are coming together to discuss how to organize an international alliance to best tackle the inevitable challenges around the corner. Celestial Diplomacy Program August 3, 1970, a classified project is launched with funding from the Global Space Agency, to facilitate peaceful communication on first contact with extraterrestrial civilizations. To keep political motives out of the picture, all unrelated government parties are kept in the dark. The scientists involved in the program are relocated to an underwater bunker in the Baltic Sea along with their families, where their cumulative knowledge is shared and research begins. Operation Astro Vox December 14, 1981, Operation Astro Vox is initiated. Led by acoustic engineer Raul Vaseni, the scientists at the CDP set out to create a device that could convey a universal language based on vocal tones. The idea is to use modulated human voices as a base for this new language, theorizing that tone and emotion might be more universally understood than specific words or phrases. Vocodine Prototype January 9, 1982, Dr. Vicenni's team unveils a prototype of the machine that will let humans introduce themselves to otherworldly beings to an astonished crowd of spectators in the auditorium of the bunker. It sounds amazing, but it sounds like a vocoder. Convinced that something is missing, Dr. Vicenni returns to the drawing board to figure out the final piece of the puzzle. To ensure intergalactic peace it must not only sing the words we wish to communicate but also transfer the feeling of love. Last Component January 23, 1982. When Dr. Vicenni's wife wakes up on the morning of January 23, 1982, her bedside is empty. Worried sick because of Raoul's irrational behavior the days prior, she rushes to the laboratory to check on him. He is nowhere to be found, but as she looks at the screen of the prototype she notices a wireframe of his face. As the ultimate sacrifice for humanity, Dr. Vicenni had goed inside of the vocoding terminal to add a new level of expression and intelligibility. Discovery. December 24, 2023, new diving expeditions to further investigate the case of the sunken ship Tunya uncover the abandoned underwater bunker along with heaps of evidence surrounding the operation. In a computer hall with hundreds of rusty vocodines, one working machine is found. Seemingly, the participants of the project had carried out their mission way past Dr. Vicenni's death. Everyone on the base including family members of the scientists had been experimenting with achieving the perfect sound.